Good afternoon, everyone. Today I am joined by a very special guest, my lovely Sasu Nisha Benmeta. And Mummy has kindly uh, taken my invitation to join me to demonstrate a senior snack. I call it exercise snacks because it's short bouts of exercise throughout the day. And I really want to emphasize the benefits of exercise and some physical activity for all ages. I won't reveal mommy's age, but she doesn't look it, but she is in her 70s. And touch wood, she's keeping fighting fit. But with coronavirus, it's even more important that we carry on moving to stay healthy not just for your body, but also for your mind and the benefits of exercise physically, mentally and emotionally. So I have done this video in English before, but mummy is going to help me translate the movements in Gujarati. For any of our Gujarati viewers, she's now going to help me send this message so you can all practice this at home. So we're going to start off by a little warm up, we're going to wake our hands and feet to aid circulation with all the exercises. So mommy's going to do them with me and feel free to watch this video back and do this at home as well in your own time. So we're going to start off by opening and closing our hands and our fists. So we're aiding circulation, waking up the hands. So we can do that ten times. And do you want to say we do it ten times? Das vakat karo. Good. Three, two, and one. Then I'm going to keep the fists closed. Mutti band rako. And I'm going to do some rolls. So one direction. So all the way round in one direction, five times. Ekka direction ma farao. And so we can keep the arms still and just try and do the movement just in your fists. Now five the other way. Ave biji tupa taraf halao. And well done. Good. Now we're going to warm up the feet as well. So I'm going to flex and point each foot. Tamara pak, tamari taraf, muko, ane tamara tir, dur muko. Good, let's do 10 each foot. Das vakat karo. And all these exercises can be done with or without shoes on, in the comfort of your chair or your sofa, at home, during lockdown. Two more and relax. Good. Shall we do the other side? So ten the other side. Flex and point. Good. I do know Gujarati. Panch and ch, sat, at, no, and thus. Well done. Now we're going to roll the ankles out. So we'll do five in one direction and five the other, like we did with our fists. So I'm gonna lengthen the leg and roll the ankles out. Try and do nice big circles. Good, five and then five the other way. Three, two and one. Can you feel the muscles getting warmer? So let's be aiding circulation. Exercise also helps boost our immune systems during coronavirus to help us fight any infection that may come your way. And five the other way. Nice big circles rolling out the ankles. Two and one. Now we're going to sit nice and tall with your spine straight. Tamara color draju, tamara spine. 
Siddurato. And we're going to work this part of your leg, your calf. Calf ne uparapne kam karsuve. This is to help build up strength and mobility in the lower legs. Tamara cha niche na pagma tamne jor aavse ane tamne chalva ma madad karse. So we're going to try lifting the heel up, single leg. So just one leg, ten times. Tamaru heel dash vakat upar karjo. As high as possible, lifting the heel, squeezing here. Chetlu uchu thai chetlu karjo. Good. Three more, two, and one. Now the other side will do ten. So other leg, ten, and keep breathing. Keep your posture nice and straight. Shwas lida karjo, ane karod rajo sidhu rajo. And all the time during the exercise, think about bringing your belly button tight towards your spine. So you're squeezing your stomach. तमारू पेट दबा तो हुए ये उलाद ये जो तमारू पेट तमारा करोड़ रजू तरफ लेता जाए। Good. Now let's try a few double heels. So both legs together. Let's do five together. So can you lift both five? Four. Good. Three. Really squeeze at the back in your calf. Two and one. To make it harder, if you want to progress after you've done this video a few times, you can even go up and add a hold. Hold for a few seconds. Keep breathing. So you can hold for maybe five seconds. You can progress each time. Maybe hold for ten seconds and release. Now the next exercise is one of the most important to maintain your ability to stay independent. It may be a struggle for some people to even stand up from a chair or sofa as you age. We want to maintain functionality and leg strength to help us, just like a squat, but this is a simpler version called a sit and stand. अपने बेस्ता ने उपाध्याता कहीं वह तकलीफ पड़े से इतने आ एक्सरसाइज तुमने मदद कर से so I'm going to show you, you can have your feet about hip width apart and you're going to try, if you have handles on your chair, you can hold your hand support or you can hold this part of the chair to practice. You're going to inhale and exhale, you're going to slowly try and stand up and squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, hold the core in and then slowly come back to seated. So it's a sit and stand. If you found it easy, you can try to do it without holding on. Engage your core and come from a seated position to a standing position. Squeeze the muscles as you stand. So will you explain that, Mum? Swas bare kadi ne upathau. Swas andar le ane besi jao. Perfect. And as you come up, you can tell them to really squeeze these muscles in the backs of the legs and your glutes. Tamara pagni pachar, tamara muscles bada ekdam squeeze karo as you come up. It lets you upata upyare. Good. Lovely. Now, if that was very hard, you can always hold the chair. And this is an easier version. You don't have to come all the way up. You can just try and lift the glutes up slightly. You're squeezing all the muscles as you come up. Slight lift and carefully back down. Then you ubata, ni pacha beso por. Tamara bata muscles ekdam squeeze karo. And you want to try and do ten of these exercises, if you can. Three sets of ten would be the perfect thing to aim for. So, would you say we can do ten of these? 
And maybe progression three times of ten. So three times ten. So thirty reps. And yet, three to the leja, no, dusty sarukaro, pachi, three to the leja, like the leja, jo. Perfect. The next exercise is going to help with the hips. And as we age, we hear about a lot of hip replacement and hip issues. So to help you with flexibility and mobility of your hips, and this will also help raise the heart rate, so get the blood flowing and help your cardiovascular health. So like aerobic exercise. I exercise to Naradene Madat Karse. And we're going to do some seated hip marches. So you can come slightly to the edge of your seat and you're going to sit nice and tall, engage your core, your stomach, and you're going to try and lift one leg high as you can, the knee towards your chest. And if you relax your hands, even on your waist or on the seat, try and use your stomach to lift the leg up. And keep breathing. So maybe try and aim for 20 of these two or three times. Lovely. Good. So you can feel your heart rate is going up with this one, yeah? Ah, exercise. Ah, kasrati. Tamaru heart rate upar jase. Lovely. Well done. Can you feel that in your stomach as you're lifting up? Yeah. Okay, good. So relax. Well done. Then we're going to try and do heel slide. This is going to help the back part of your leg, the hamstring. And it's going to help your core and your stomach, the strength in your abdominals. So I will show you from the side. If you're sitting on comfortably seated, I'm going to try and extend my heel out and squeeze it in. Now, if it's slippery on your floor, you can put a towel or a paper plate to help slide the heel out and squeeze it in. Tamaru hil chene ene dashrao bare ane andar. Good. So bare ane andar. Lovely. Ene dashrao tamhe. That's it. Tamaru floor bo slippery hoy to niche to wal pandra ki shakai. Good. And ten each side, yeah? And dash vakat beis baju. Lovely. The next exercise is going to be really important for strength and it is like when we put things up and we're reaching up to put something on a shelf. So it's a functional movement and it's going to help your whole shoulder range of mobility and help with any overhead movement. Um. Good. So we can use water bottles, plastic water bottles. You can use tins. You can use just your own body weight or even some light dumbbells. And we're going to start doing a shoulder press. So I'm just going to face you. And then mommy will show you without any weight. So if you put your hands either side of your ears and you're uh, sitting nice and straight, nice and tall, your spine is straight, you're going to now push the tins up overhead and bring your hands back down by your ears and exhale. Inhale. Inhale. <laughs> Good. So this is going to feel it on your shoulders and help 
when you're trying to put things overhead, any lifting overhead. Can you feel this, mommy? Good. So if you were to use some weight, you can build up the weight. And we want to do again 10 reps, three, two or three times. This is the only one with weights. And the team wapi shako, ke bottle wapi shako, ke tam dumbbells wapi shako, ke kame te be weight hatu palayne kari shako. Good. Now the next one is a seated twist. This is good for your spine, for your back, and for your core, especially the side here, the obliques. Tamara karo jaju mate, ne tamara pet mate, and especially a side mate aik. So we're going to keep our elbows at shoulder height, spine nice and straight, and we're going to turn, twisting round, using your stomach and back in. Inhale, then exhale, twist. It's a torso twist. Inhale, and you twist, you lead, you look over the same direction as your elbow. Just go as far as you can go. And the same again. Ten each side. Great. So we're nearly to try one now where you can hold the seat or if you have armrests on your seat you're going to keep your feet and your knees together and your legs are going to be bent. I'll show you slightly from the side. Then you can hold the chair and you're going to try and lift both legs up Hold and bring back down. So every time the hard bit of the exercise, you breathe out. So exhale. And if you move a little bit forward on the chair, you can then try and lift the legs up even together. Exhale and inhale. Using your core again. Exhale and inhale. So there's two options there. Good. Again, ten times, two or three sets. Now, mommy and I have moved our chairs very carefully. You can use a chair against a wall so it's not going to slip. And I'm going to show you a very good exercise called a plank, which you normally do on the floor like this. This is a high plank and you keep a straight line from your head down to your heel. And you're engaging your core. So my hips aren't low and they're not up. But mommy, I'm going to show you the other version. Mommy's advanced so she can do this. So can you feel? Good. Well done. Wow. Okay, I didn't know mommy could do this. Carefully down. If the plank is hard, but it's very good for strengthening not just your core, your spine, and you're working every muscle in the body, squeezing tight. The easy version I want to show you is the modified plank with a chair in front of the wall. So the chair can face either way. I will put my hands here. And my shoulders above my wrists. And my hips aren't low or high. They're having a straight line from my top of my head to my heels. And I'm engaging my core. I'm sucking this belly button 
towards my spine while I'm in that position. Good. An easier version is if you wanted to, you could change the chair to this position carefully and I could do the same exercise against the wall in this position to start off with. Good. So you can build up 10 seconds. So we can turn the chair around carefully, support the wall so make sure it doesn't move. And then you imagine a straight line. So you can move your feet back and you come on your tiptoes and you push out through the heel. But because your hips are here, you want to bring them down there. Yeah, and breathe. Hold, hold. But again, you want to build up the strength in your stomach towards your back. Yeah? So, good plank. So, that's one uh, exercise using the chair against the wall. Another one is a modified burpee. A burpee is quite an intense exercise that I do and your son, Menel, and our grandchildren. I've been showing in my classes every day on Instagram Live. Even for seniors, all ages, you can do this version. It's an air burpee. I don't want you to try any of these, but just so you know what a burpee is really, it's coming out, you come out carefully into plank, back in, and it has a jump. But because that's not suitable for seniors, I'm going to show you a version on the chair that will help you. So we're going to turn the chair around with the back facing the wall carefully. We're going to put our hand down on the chair here. I'm going to step out into that plank position that we just learned. Then I'm going to step back in and I'm going to stand up straight. Good. So let's go one hand, both hands down. One foot out, other foot out, hold that plank, that lovely position we learn. Foot back in and stand up straight. Shall we do three more to show everyone? So foot out, out, get a nice straight line, lovely. Hold the core in, back in, in and straight. And you keep moving, so you can try and aim to do ten of those burpees. So it's quite a good exercise to get your heart rate up and work your cardiovascular health. Mommy's going to explain the burpee in Gujarati as I do it. I'm going to put my hands down on the chair. Against the wall so it doesn't slip. And the kursi to wall against rakho to slip na thai. And then you step out, step out. Into that plank we learnt. Into the plank. And then step back in, in and stand up straight and strong. Out, in, in and strong. And you try and do 10 of these. So, we've done quite a few exercises. We're going to just show you quickly how to stretch. Now, this stretch is important even for people that are working from home during coronavirus, spending a lot of time on their desks, on their sofas even. It can be for everyone, all members of the family. But because you've done this great workout, I want to make sure you don't get injured and your muscles lengthen and recover so you don't feel too sore after the exercise. So it's important to stretch, Mommy, will you tell them, just to prevent injury and for the muscles to recover. Good. So we're going to sit nice and tall, shoulders back, chest lifted. I'm going to bring one arm across and bring the other arm in to hug this arm through. So I'm bringing this arm close to my chest and then I can look over this 
right shoulder, your shoulder that side. So can you feel the stretch on your shoulder? The more you bring the arm towards your chest, so the more I bring this in and the more I look over, relax the shoulders, sit nice and tall. You want to hold for 10 to 20 seconds ideally. And the other side. So do you want to talk through in Gujarati? So I'm lengthening one arm. And I'm bringing it across the body. And I'm going to use the other hand to hug it in towards my chest. chest shoulder you should feel a lovely stretch on the back, on your back, around your shoulder area. Good. Lovely. Now I'm going to just show you an upper back and chest stretch. You can come a little bit forward on the chair. Then you're placing your hands in the middle of your back. You're going to sit nice and tall sit and bring the elbows back so you're opening out your chest. Good. Can you feel that nice stretch? You breathe five or ten deep breaths to hold for at least 20 seconds. So this second matin Hold it. Good. And relax. And the same for our pelt, our middle of our back to open out this back. So this is good for any neck or back tension. We're going to open out the arms as if we're hugging someone. Let the head relax and open out. So I'm trying to round my back to open out the vertebra. Can you feel that? Yeah. And look down. Good. Hold and breathe and relax. Well done. We can also do a nice neck stretch here. So I can bring one hand over to one the opposite ear and I can relax my hand behind the back and just put a little bit of pressure bringing this ear down towards my shoulder. So I'm lengthening this part of my neck. From this ear to my shoulder and sit nice and tall. Can you feel that? You can turn your chin, look down if you feel tight, any areas. Keep breathing, hold all stretches for 20 seconds at least if you can and breathe, relax. So do you want to sit in Gujarati this side? So I'm going to bring one hand over just to the above my ear other hand behind my back back nice and straight and then bring the ear down towards the shoulder to stretch out the neck ear stretch tight. And 20 to 30 seconds if you can. Breathe, hold and relax. Good. Last two stretches. We're going to do one on the legs. So because we did some work on our legs, we can bring one leg out. So reach up, lengthen. Let's do one leg. So this leg is lovely and straight. You want to say that in good Atuchakaro. Spine is straight and I slowly bring my chest down towards the thigh. The hands don't have to touch the toes, they can rest anywhere on the leg. Relax the upper body towards the thigh and breathe. And try and hold for 20 seconds each side. Lengthen the leg, the other leg. Nice and straight, you can bring your toes towards you. Inhale and then exhale. Good. 
Relax the hands wherever they go, toes, shin, leg. Now keep breathing, inhale, exhale. You feel that nice stretch all the way on the back of the leg. Last two stretches, we're gonna stretch out the side so we we'll sit nice and straight. You can just bring one arm over and all the way around. Look up to that hand. You should feel a nice stretch all the way down the side from this hand to your hip. Can you feel that? Keep breathing and relax. And the other side, breath, inhale, exhale, reach over. Lovely side stretch. You can look up to that hand. Do you want to speak this one through, mommy? And relax. So let's do it in Gujarati. So inhale as you reach the arm up. And then exhale as you reach over to the side. Lovely stretch. You can keep this hand straight. So it's like a diagonal from here all the way down. And relax. Good. Other side. Inhale as I bring the arm up. Exhale, come over, reach over. You can hold it and keep breathing and relax. Last signature finish for Levina's workouts. We're gonna take a nice, big, positive inhale. Inhale, lots of positivity. Exhale, any negativity or stress, anxiety out of the body. Inhale and exhale. Last one, good. Deep breath, inhale. Hands meet at the top, together to pray position, down to your heart center. Pranam, namaste. Pranam. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Lavina. Thank you, Mummy, for joining me. I hope the exercises help you. I am on Instagram at Feel Good with Lavina. I have a website, www.feelgoodwithlavina.com. Um, I am doing free twice daily workouts on Instagram. They are suitable to all ages, but this video is specifically for our Gujarati older generation, people that may be less mobile. And I hope just doing exercise on a chair gives you a little bit of confidence and routine to do exercise daily. It will make you feel so much better physically and mentally. Thank you. Thank you.